um, I only thought it's it's fair uh, that the person who's actually done something for Indra Dhanush kids is our guest of honor. We are also very fortunate to have Mr. Russell, um, and he will speak a few words. Thank you. Shall I give those to? Um, <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me here today. Um, I'll just say a few words, but mainly about my background in the arts. Um, so storytelling has always been a very close um, part of my life. And, and I have to say, what I've seen here today has really touched me. <laughs> I thought it was fabulous. And I think when you see young people on stage, the confidence that they had, the brilliant voices and the brilliant acting, can I just give a round of applause to the kids who are up here? Um, some of you may not know, but um, I, I'm obviously the Conservative candidate for the area, but also in addition to that, I'm actually, uh, I've been involved in the arts for many, many years. I'm actually an artist, so I paint portraits. I've been very fortunate to um, uh, have four different portraits signed by, or portraits signed by four different prime ministers. And what I've learned through the arts is that actually we've all got a real skill. Some people say they can't draw, some people say they can't sing, some people say they can't write, but actually we've all got something in us, I think, that's creative. And um, what I learned many years ago was when my daughter was very little, um, I used to read her bedtime stories. And um, I started writing some for her. And so I've published four children's books over the past few years. And what I, <laughs> thank you. Um, but what, I, what I loved about it was I, I very much felt that they were collaborations with my daughter. You know, and I, I think storytelling is at the heart of all of our different cultures and backgrounds and history. You know, ever since the, Ancient, ancient times, we've shared stories about our lives and about, you know, the pathways and moral stories about what life should be. And I think, you know, we've all got the opportunity in our lives to forge a positive path. And, you know, when we think about what we want to do in our life, we should be thinking about what story, what legacy do we want to leave behind? And for me, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this, especially from a political perspective, because for me, it's not about politics and manifestos and, and policies. It's about people. And everybody, I believe, should be, be, be able to be the best version of themselves. And it doesn't matter what background you come from, what class, what ethnicity, whatever, you should be able to be the best version of you. And the story I want to tell by the time I get to the end of my life is to be able to look back at this period and say so I've helped people. I have a phrase that I use sometimes, which is an acronym about hope. You know, hope often is used about, you know, where we want to take people. But my, my version of HOPE is it's an acronym for H-O-P-E. Help one person every day. Help one person every day. And I think, when we, thank you, and I think when we look at our lives, if we could just help one person every day, what a better society we would be in. What a better world we would live in. And I think the story we should all be telling is not just about what we've taken, but what we've given. And I would love to be the politician that works with you in this community and wider, that supports the arts, that supports theatre. You know, I used to run an acoustic night when I was younger. <laughs> I've been a radio DJ and I used to do poetry on stage. And I, I can tell you, I know the confidence it takes to get up here. And those kids did a fabulous job. And, and I think these sorts of initiatives are so powerful because it brings us together. So if I can have any eulogy by the end of my life that looks back, I would love to have been the MP that's helped work with the community, that's helped bring us together as a, as a society and as a town, but ultimately allowed people to be the best they can be and be a role model so that young people can see, ah, I can do that. That there's, there's hopefully a young child in here today who's going to be the next MP after me. There's hopefully a young child in here today that's going to be the next uh, Bollywood actor or Hollywood actor. You know, for me, that's what it's about. So let's inspire each other. Let's breed hope within each other. And of course, I would love you to support me, to enable me to do that in the election. But, but more importantly, I will gladly work with you and I'll look forward to doing that um, should I be elected as your MP. So thank you very much for inviting me today. And thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Rashmi. Ms. Shachal, say a few words of encouragement to our students. Thank you. Thank you so much for the honor. And a big round of applause to each and every child who came on stage today. 
They all deserve our encouragement, our motivation, and that's what we are for. And uh, I also want to congratulate Nilanjana Paul and Indra Dhanush kids for having been doing so much and so much and so well uh, since last few years I've been watching her and her activities for the children and it's amazing a big round of applause to Nilanjana and Indra Dhanush kids congratulations for the great show today simply loved adorable kids here on stage each and every uh, participant is uh, uh, here to be congratulated and I also want to say Nilanjana that it is uh, you know not uh, only my support but Indra Dhanush kids has also supported inspiring Indian women in whatever possible manner so it's for both of us both of us are doing for each other and that's how what society is for work together for helping and supporting each other um, we wish you all the best Mr. Dean Russell that conservative party wins from Watford constituency <laughs> Thank you. We've got some prizes and awards to give out. Uh, if you could please um, stay back on stage and we'll um, call, out call out the names. Thank you.